Good morning, everyone. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Let us uh, start with uh, financial management uh, uh, for second semester. My name is Dr. Abhishek Tripathi. You all know that. Uh, let me. This is a bit of my qualification. Now let us go for unit. Uh, let us understand the syllabus first. The syllabus consists of five units: unit one, two, three, four, five. Uh, unit one consists of financial management and introduction, DuPont analysis, EVA, uh, economic value addition, CVP analysis. Unit two has instruments of long-term finance, time value of money, leverage. Unit three, cost of capital and capital structure. Unit four, capital budgeting. Unit five, working capital. Management of working capital, internal financing, and dividend policy. So first, we'll deal with financial management introduction. Lesson one is financial management aims and objectives. There are nine points which we'll cover: meaning and definition, aims and objectives of financial management, profit maximization, wealth maximization, profit maximization versus wealth maximization. What is scope of financial management? What are the functions of financial management? What is importance of financial management? And what is a Finance manager do what uh, functions of uh, what are the rules and responsibilities rules and responsibilities of finance manager. Financial management uh, definition and meaning. Uh, financial management refers to the science of management of flow of money through an organization. So, what is finance? It is a science of management of flow of money. It is science of management of flow of money through an organization. Financial management. It is a branch of management studies which deals with the procurement of funds and their effective utilization. So, three things are very important. First of all, it is a branch of management studies, and it deals with the procurement of funds. And third thing is that it use it also deals with the effective utilization of the funds. Nature characteristics features. Uh, it deals with procurement of funds, effective utilization of funds, part of overall. Uh, management, uh, so it is part of management science, closely related with other disciplines. None of the other disciplines, like human resource management, sociology, anything, cannot work without finance. It is a continuous process. Uh, there is no um, uh, time when you are not dealing with finance in an organization. Different from accounting, where accounting ends, financial financial management starts there. So it is very different from uh, accounting. Uh, accounting is more about uh, keeping records of the transactions. Financial management is more about analyzing those transactions, about uh, those financial statements which have been made. And fast growing, it is very fast growing because finance has no stop. Uh, uh, wherever money exists, there exists the finance. Helpful in decision making. Wider scope, wider scope as compared to any other uh, uh, ma um, branch of management science, because uh, as we know, finance is uh, lifeblood of any organization. So uh, it is a, a, a domain with the most wider scope. It is both science and art. Science because it has certain rules, regulations, certain um, uh, parameters, uh, some uh, fixed uh, formats where they have we have to work. And art because uh, it is something which uh, cannot be uh, just l learned through books. It is something. It is like a skill. It you will have to learn it. So it is both science and art. Aims and objectives of financial management. If you look into uh, this chart, objective financial management. Uh, basic objectives. There are only two basic objectives: profit maximization and wealth maximization. What is profit maximization? It is maximization of net profit after tax. So that is profit maximization. What is wealth maximization? Wealth maximization is maximization of uh, uh, market uh, uh, capitalization. Market capitalization means um, uh, number of equity shares into market price per share. So uh, it is actually maximization of market price of the shares held by the shareholders. Then operational objectives are timely available of requisite finances, most effective utilization of finances, safety of investment and uh, investment growth of the enterprise. Social objectives are timely payment of interest, payment of reasonable dividend, timely payment of wages, fixing settlement with suppliers, timely payment of taxes, maintaining relation with finances, and research objectives are research into new and better sources of finance. So these are the objectives of finance. Now, profit maximization theory, which is also a conventional theory of firm, 
according to this principle object of the firm is to maximize profit so any according to this theory according to the theory of profit maximization any firm in this world it works for the maximization of profit maximization of net profit what are the features of this uh, theory it believes in cashing per share maximization so it uh, believes in maximizing net profit earning profit is ultimate aim profit is the parameter of measuring business efficiency helps to reduce the risk of the business now merits it is test of ec uh, economic efficiency because if your profit is increasing means you are economically sound efficient allocation of funds without efficient allocation of funds you cannot make profit social welfare unless and until you may yourself your firm yourself your firm makes profit it cannot go for social welfare internal resources for expansion you generate uh, because when you maximize net profit you have enough resources to gen, uh, expand in the future reduction in, of in risk and uncertainty as soon as profit increases the risk and uncertainty decrease more competitive be more competitive it makes you more competitive uh, when it compare when it comes to your uh, competitors because you are maximizing your profit you are following efficiency then uh, also uh, more competitive desire for control basis of decision making so uh, but also desire for controls is there because once you maximize profit then you can control the market basis of decision making um, um profit maximization is one of the very important factors while deciding on the uh, various uh, taking uh, taking various decisions in an organization now let us go for benefits uh, demerits uh, demerits are ignore quality of benefits so maximization of profit is not the sole aim because it always ignores the quality of benefits uh, there a company may not have uh, maximum profit but it may have very good very happy employees and it may have very good happy shareholders because it is uh, developing good market reputation it is vague because profit maximization cannot be the sole aim of any organization then time of uh, timing of value of money is ignored so time value of money is ignored because it is based on accounting principle change in organization structure uh, normally because of a change in profit we uh, believe in pushing or promoting a person who maximizes profit without looking into his ways uh, how is maximizing his profit social welfare may be ignored so social welfare may be ignored when you are going for maximization of profit you may be pushing more uh, on e efficiency and you may be pushing more to earn more and more at any cost and then you will may be ignoring social benefits ignores financing and dividend aspects so um, uh, because of maximization of profit and earning more and more money at the same time uh, you may uh, the firm may ignore financing and uh, dividend aspects it may not uh, 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 distribute dividend to shareholders to keep money on its own uh, now wealth maximization value maximization net present worth maximization uh, it is a uh, theory of wealth maximization it takes into consideration the time value of money and concentrates on maximization of wealth what is maximization of wealth it is maximization of market capitalization market capitalization is what it is number of equity shares into market price per share so mainly it is uh, increase in the market price of the share so uh, according to wealth maximization the sole aim of a finance manager should be to increase the value of the shares of the firm in the market so mps should increase what is what are the features clearly defined and easy to understand very helpful for taking investment decisions considers time value of money market discounts everything so whatever market value says it discounts even time maximization of welfare of shareholders considers both quality and quantity incorporates risk factors it considers that the shareholders wealth is maximized only when the market value of the shares is maximized consistent with the personal objectives of the manager definitely everyone wants to maximize the market uh, because market if market price is increasing means everything is going good Mar uh, the reputation of the firm is good hr policies are good it is making good business it is uh, earning good profit when everything is good then wealth will be maximized so uh, definitely wealth maximization is far better than profit maximization now let us go for merits to improve value wealth of the shareholders comparison of the value to cost associated so 
comparison of value to cost so when you uh, you always in this method you are comparing the value creation to the cost associated with whatever you have created now considers both time and risk provides efficient allocation of resources and ensures economic interest of the society because maximization of shareholders wealth also leads to uh, maxima uh, increase in the share prices thereby leading to leading to uh, betterment of uh, stock markets and thereby leading to betterment of the society so it ensures the economic interest of the society now demerits are objectives not necessarily socially desirable so sometimes uh, um, maybe your investors don't want their wealth to be maximized they want short term gains in that case this uh, wealth maximization may not be very good for them in controversy whether it leads to maximization of wealth of shareholders that is also a problem because uh, we do understand that uh, market price of the shares as may also increase because of its speculative issues and that may be a big problem because because of speculation the prices are increasing and there may be against society there may also not increase the wealth of the shareholders it may be just superficial increase in the market price of the shares conflict between managers and shareholders it normally leads to conflict between managers and shareholders because uh, a short term market uh, price ups and downs they don't consider the uh, actual efficiency of the firm and uh, thereby uh, the problem is created so uh, it uh, this becomes a big problem the conflict between managers and shareholders now the next one is of wealth maximization versus profit maximization definition we have already seen wealth maximization is uh, when um, a theory talks about the maximization of the wealth of the shareholders profit maximization is maximization of profit after tax purpose of concept to have the value of the firm and market value of shares that is wealth maximization and in profit maximization you maximize the profitability of the firm the formula here in wealth maximization it is market price per share into number of equity shares in profit maximization it is total revenue minus cost is equal to profit what is the rationale rationale behind this theory <coughs> of wealth maximization is value maximization and in profit maximization is profit maximization in time span this is long term vision wealth maximization is a long term vision profit maximization is a short term vision time value of money is considered by wealth maximization profit maximization does not consider time value of money uh, in immediate beneficiaries of wealth maximization are shareholders and in profit maximization management is the immediate beneficiary and tendency in wealth maximization is constructive and in profit maximization it is exploitative because in profit maximization to earn profit you may be exploitative and you may try to reduce your expenses to increase your costs uh, to decrease your cost and uh, thereby making profits and that may be exploitative sometimes for your employees and for the society as well what are the functions and scope so let us look into scope of financial management uh, if we look into traditional scope uh, there are two types of approaches traditional approach and modern approach in traditional approach of uh, financial management in this one we are talking only about the procurement of funds so the sole aim the sole scope of the function of uh, the sole scope of financial management in traditional approach is procurement of funds but in modern approach it includes procurement of funds and effective utilization of funds so in traditional approach it is just procurement of funds and in modern approach it includes procurement of funds and modern utilization of funds now let us talk about functions fun financial management has mainly four functions investment fund decisions financing decisions dividend policy decisions and liquidity decisions let us understand these decisions one by one investment decisions <coughs> First of all, whatever money a firm has, they try to find out various investment avenues as we looked into capital budgeting and they try to invest in the best possible manner to make maximum return out of it. Now, when we talk about financing decisions, financing decisions are when a company uh, finds out what are the various methods to which they can source uh, funds uh, for the effective utilization. So, uh, it is mainly procurement of funds. So financing decisions are procurement of funds, investment decisions are effective utilization of funds. Now 
dividend policy decisions once you've uh, procured the fund once you have invested the fund you have made some profit now you have to dis now the firm has to decide what percentage of the profit they want to share with the shareholders in the form of dividend and what percentage do they want to keep as <coughs> retained earnings and this is dividend policy decision now liquidity decisions they uh, at the same time the company also has to make sure that they have uh, enough of liquidity to uh, um, uh, meet all the obligations all the debt obligations which uh, they need to have uh, they need to fulfill uh, uh, for example a company has taken some loan then for that loan the uh, the company should be able to make its uh, principal and interest uh, uh, payments on time and that is the liquidity decisions so there should be enough of cash available with the company at the same time to service its debt as well but at the same time the, com uh, the company the firm also has to make sure that a not um, um, a surplus cash should also be invested in a certain manner the company should not have a um, um, uh a lot of cash uh, kept as uh, uh, an ideal cash because uh, uh, that will lead to a loss of interest income for the company so these are the four investment uh, four functions of financial management investment decisions financing decisions dividend policy decisions and liquidity decisions now let us talk about the significance of financial management why financial management is important it is essential in all types of organization let me tell you financial management is a lifeblood of the organization none of the organizations in this world can work without finances it, re it is related with all the departments none of the department can work without finance basis of decision making there is this in business the sole aim of decision making is financial management helpful in planning without money no planning optimum utilization of resources helpful in forecasting for better control money is very important for achieving balance between risk and return they cannot be uh, everything is risk and there's no return if there's no money and helpful in taking innovative steps so if you have money you come with different ideas you implement them and you get more profit for maintaining optimum level of working capital for op maintaining optimum level of capital required for day-to-day -day activities and that is working capital provide timely information to the shareholders to the other stakeholders which is very important for the proper functioning of the organization so these are significance of a financial and there can be n more number of uh, significance of financial management <clears throat> the role of finance manager uh, the role of finance manager can be divided into two primary functions and emerging functions if you look into primary functions they are uh, performing financial analysis and planning investment decision financing decision and dividend decision we have already gone through all these decisions emerging roles are financial engineering financial engineering means uh, uh, reconstructing the financial status of a firm financial um, state of the firm uh, maybe restructuring the capital structure restructuring the investments restructuring the uh, methods of uh, procuring funds so restructuring an organization from the financial points of view from uh, zero to hundred so that is financial engineering then foreign exchange management treasury operation operations treasury means uh, the fire uh, the play uh, um, the congregation of all the wealth the collection of all the wealth which a company has so uh, treasury operations investor communication management to control investment planning pension fund management credit manager credit manager means to make sure that uh, whatever credit is has been given and uh, whenever the credit is given for example whenever any loan or advance is given that is recovered at the proper time and tax management and insurance risk management again this is not exhaustive you can add or subtract the rules of the finance manager i hope everything was clear and uh, you enjoyed the video thank you i'll come with the unit two next time thank you for the time being